President Mohamed Buhari is scheduled to depart Abuja on Thursday for Addis Ababa, Ethiopia for the 36th ordinary session of the Assembly of the African Union. A statement by Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Malam Gaba Shehu, also said Buhari will participate in three high-level meetings while he is in Addis Ababa. The statement, which revealed the theme, of the submits to be acceleration of the African Continental Free Trade Area AFC FTA. Implementation also explained Buhari would be, at, would be attending an extraordinary submit of the authority of heads of state and governments of ECOWAS on the sidelines of the submit. The statement said the president will participate in three high-level meetings on peace and security climate change and the political situation in some West African countries. The Independent National Electoral Commission has said it will not de redeploy the resident electoral commissioner for Lagos State, Mr. Shegun Agbaje, over unfounded allegations. The Chief Press Secretary to INEC Chairman, Rutimi Oyekomi, in an interview with newsmen on Wednesday in Abuja, urge those demanding Agbaje's redeployment to perish the thought. There had been demands for Agbaje's removal over alleged mismanagement of permanent voters' card collection in some parts of Lagos and engagement of Musilu Akinsoya, also known as MC Oluomo, led Lagos State Park's management committee to convey election materials. Oye Kami employed that two political parties calling for Agbaje's redeployment to respect the boundaries of the relationship between the Commission and all political parties. He dismissed the allegations against the REC, describing it as deliberate misinformation and distortion of facts. On the movement of election materials in Lagos State, Oyekomi said INEC was engaging individual vehicle owners. Oyekomi reminded Nigerians that INEC had been conducting elections successfully in Lagos using individuals that owned vehicles that met its specification. He assured Lagosians and those who intend to vote in Lagos State that their votes will count. As Nigerians prepare for the polls on February 25, 2023, the Cherubin and Seraphine Church Choir have embarked on an em endurance walk to sensitize Christians on the need to come out in their numbers and cast their votes. They encourage the youth not to allow themselves to be used by politicians as plug in the wheel of change, but to instead shun every form of violence political toggery and vandalization of property during the election. The endurance war commenced from the Teslim Balogun Stadium at 7 a.m. and culminated at the Cherubim and Seraphim Church, Ayo Neo at Sonia. Participants sang and danced while sensitizing Christians and youths in particular to come out and cast their votes when the elections proper kicks off in February 2023. The sensitization and, and endurance walk was the last program on the agenda of the Seraph Choir that is celebrating its 50 years anniversary, thanking God for his mercies and goodness towards them. It takes the grace to be 50, so I'm glad that, because I joined the choir when I was 18, and today I'm 50. So. It means that we've come a long way. So for me, I'm glad that I had the grace to see this 50 of a glorious choir that is going places and is going to greater heights. And I know that God has just started with us. I'm looking forward to every event that we're going to have and the last one, which is the choir day itself. So I'm glad, I'm grateful to God that we've seen generations, because if you've watched um, the walk, you see generations from the elderly to the middle aged to the younger ones, and we're all there walking. We give God all the glory and we are very grateful to him. My advice for the youth is that if you are eligible to vote, please vote because your vote will count and your vote does count. For those, of, for those who cannot vote, keep praying for the country and let's not be violent about it. Violence does not solve anything. 
it is the time for Nigeria to rise and choose this leader. So rise, choose your leader, and God will help us. The essence is to create awareness. One, to create awareness for um, the kickstarting of the 50th anniversary of the choir. And secondly, to create awareness that it's not all the time prayers, uh, spirituals, listening to sermons and all that. We need to exercise. And so walking from Teslin Balogun to the church is a great exercise. And those who participate will know that they will feel lighter. And uh, apart from spiritual exercise, it's also physical exercise. And it will help our health. The joy of it is to glorify God for sustaining this choir of this church for 50 years. It's a golden celebration and everybody wants to be part of it. And we thank God that the church is growing from strength to strength and the choir is still and with all the type of extensions that we have, we have expanded now beyond what it was when this choir started in 50 years. So it's just to say thank you, God, to glorify God. And let the world, this is part of evangelism, so that they can know this is our next moment just really. This is the choir you have been listening to their CDs. They are now celebrating 50th anniversary. So that's just the essence.